package tutorial services on a Friday showing proper devotion to duty. Anyway, we've got 10 minutes to wait before I can jump onto the motorway. So I thought I'd talk through how to do a while loop. So let's just remind ourselves why we're here, Matt Parker Tutorial Services, here to help students with the coursework, teachers with the boring admin, and businesses get their IT systems off the ground without paying extortionate prices to big software companies. Very simple today, you have here a simple way to introduce students to while loops and counters which I'm going to talk through. So obviously if a student can use the print command it tells them they've got three tries to guess the age and we have a guesses counter which we set to zero. While the number of guesses is less than three okay it will prompt them to guess my age in this case and then you have the different parts of an elif statement. Note that if when it runs each guess, if the person's wrong, it adds one to the guesses and then it tells them to continue. When the correct age is guessed, which is here, again it adds one to the guesses, but this time it prints out a statement telling them they took this number of guesses here, which is added up to here, and it breaks out of the program. Okay? When you've run out of guesses, so while guesses is equal to 3, it will print your out of guesses, and again it will break out of it. Nice, quick, easy way to do a while statement, and please feel free to use the code, which I won't bother to have below because it fits onto one screen, so if you can't do it here, then you really are dim. Oops, not very politically correct that to say on Friday afternoon. But nonetheless, simplest way to do an elif statement nested inside a while statement. That's it, Matt Parker Tutorial Services. Thank you for listening.